Hello Leo, welcome to the channel guys, uh, it's Rad and uh, this is going to be your weekly tarot reading uh, July 18th up until uh, July 24th, 2022nd and uh, if you are interested guys into having a personal reading with me you can always go to my website which you're going to find in the description down below. So with that said, let's just make the cut and uh, see what we have. Uh, the first card for you Leo that is going to be uh, seven of pentacles followed on with the second card here of uh, the four of wands moving on next the third one that stands as the emperor and the very final card for you leo that is going to be your card which is the strength card so we do have these four cards as uh, your weekly cards wow leo um let's uh let's start it that way that's going to be not an exciting week for those of you guys who are used to always do something and that is we can see that into the first two cards which are the seven of pentacles and the four of wands here so what happens it is that everything that it is addressed to you as a proposition as an enterprise uh, but I, I, you know as an offer as well uh, it will be faced from your behalf with a frown and sigh and that is because it's just the 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 um the way it is proposed, the format that it is proposed, it's not going to be the right one. What I'm trying to say here is that you're going to find it a very difficult to... You're going to find it very difficult to make it worth your while. It's just whenever someone tells you, let's do business together, it's just you wouldn't see what for i mean you wouldn't see any benefits to it you wouldn't see at least the first ones that is you wouldn't see it's worth that that's that will be the problem within the week and thus you may spend your week uh the majority of it that is not the entire week but the uh the majority of the week into wondering you know what what should be the next thing you should do who should be the next person that you should address uh, you should direct your um your attention uh, what should be the next project that you should invest, right? Or what should be the next friend that you should decide to spend more time with? And uh, all that is uh, because, not just only because of the Seven of Pentacles, which is the environment, that is, uh, a Seven of Pentacles as an environment, it is when, you know, one is wondering, is it really, long story short, uh, is it really worth it or not? but also with the four of wands which sits into the second position and that card there shows that there are going to be important details which are to be withheld from you uh, if we go back to the example where you are to be addressed with doing business together not everything that the business is all about will be disclosed and thus you wouldn't be able to say is it worth it or not say the same thing if um, someone wants to uh, give you uh, their attention you wouldn't be able to say is it gonna worth it or not so uh, the majority of the week ain't gonna have anything to present to you and for that reason what the cards are showing here is that you are gonna turn your attention to your personal possessions possessions things which entirely depend on your control, your personal hobby, your personal projects, your personal time, everything that you do hold a firm grip on it. And it seems that you are going to manage it even better because as the emperor stands into the third position, it seems that, uh, <clears throat> or what the cards are showing here is that you will be able to establish even a bigger structure that this isn't even control a bigger structure into the uh, into your own personal enterprises so within the week like i said although there wouldn't be much things if any well there are going to be any at least one but for the majority of the week there will there won't be any new things that you're going to find to watch your while you can expect <clears throat> going forward to consolidate even further 
your existing relationships, your existing projects, your existing hobbies, and everything that's, like I said, you do have a firm grip on that, uh, uh, <clears throat> on it. And the emperor doesn't stop even here. I mean, people who are also involved into your ongoing enterprises, they're going to I kind of like find you even more reliable than before they are going to find you even more capable to 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 lead them if you are the leader and if you aren't they're going to find you more capable or close to as capable as the leader of uh, of the thing and thus you can expect more trust to be granted to you and as well you can expect that the the ups and downs that you are facing into those enterprises now to face with much more bad than before but the emperor also gives you a way more freedom as well and way more personal time also so like we said uh the majority of the week itself it's not gonna present you with um anything that you are gonna find worth your while and that is up until the end of it because uh, at the end of the week, as we can see here, it ends with uh, the uh, strength card right there. And the strength card, it is when you do find enthusiastic enterprise, something that finally kind of like can catch your attention and you are looking forward to it. Now that enterprise could be about literally anything because it's a major arcana. But just to give you a, um, a, a couple of examples here, should that enterprise be about your business, then you will see a lot of profit into it. You are going to uh, see a lot of eagerness within you to, to basically work it out and see where it leads to. And it will be challenging. That's another thing about it. And you would love to participate into that challenge and, and to just see can you be up to it or not and spoiler alert here you are and uh although it may feel like climbing a mountain okay when you reach the top of it the very summit of it you will see that it was worth it this time around but when it comes to a personal interactions, should that be the enterprise, like, you know, person that you do start dating with or a friend, there will be a lot of passion in there. There will be a lot of, uh, uh, how can I put it into words, uh, passion and excitement. And it's just, it will, it will be very sexual. It will be uh, the, the strength it is when it reeks of it out there. So you can expect that at least at the start, if that's your enterprising event, to have that sexual drive and pull and, and it, 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 it's almost irresistible. The pull itself, but not the attitude. Because with the strength card, uh, for one or another reason, you will be able to exert the right attitude towards your business or towards your job, towards your, um, your hobbies, and toward the people that you are associating yourself with and people that you are having interactions whether friendship interactions or whether a uh, uh, whether a intimate uh, intimate interactions but the chapter is far from being closed okay so just don't take it for granted that thing can be seen into the four of uh, into the four of wands whether you like it or not, there are important details which are yet to come and they are going to be uh, a part of the foundation for you to understand, is it really worth it or not? And so with that said, Leo, that was your uh, weekly title reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.